Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrave. First up, we've got Sajikor Select Funds Limited bringing it home. Unaudited net asset value. This is a NAV. This is an update as at October 20th, 2021. And it's two of them. The financial side, the manufacturer and distribution side. The financial side, just under 80 cents per share. 0.782 per share, 78 cents and change. Manufacturing distribution, Jamaican dollar and 10 cents per share or so. Now reminder, this is the updated net asset value, not the market price on the stock market, the JSE, the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Next up, we've got ISP Finance Services Limited here. That's a microfinance company. You would recall they came out recently talking about a potential loan book acquisition. We're looking forward to hearing that news in terms of what's happening there and hopefully they're successful with that deal. Now the company, ISP Finance Services, applying for a virtual annual general meeting as well. So they've applied to the Supreme Court for this, the AGM for November 22nd, 2021 at 11.30 in the morning. Now what they're doing is seeking the court Court's permission to hold their AGM either virtually or via live stream. Now, Community Workers of Jamaica Cooperative Union Limited publishing their corporate governance policy, a good move here, transparent by the company. It's distributed the, to the public and it's published on the Jamstock X uh, website or the JSE newsroom. Now, not all public companies have done this, but it's a strong benchmark for all companies to do it. And it's important. It includes, but not limited to things like financial reporting, board responsibilities, any segments, you know, divisions, annual general meetings, and so forth. Now, international markets, and what we spoke about at the top of Business Life, Hertz emerging from bankruptcy and already planning to order 100,000 EVs or electric vehicles from Tesla. So it's like Good News Monday here for Hertz and for Tesla, double whammy in business life tonight. Now what this is doing is sending Tesla share price crazy. In intraday trading or earlier today, we're talking about you know 950, 961 per share, and then just blowing way past a thousand US per share, just skyrocketing to an all time new record high in Tesla. But getting back to Hertz here, you know, so what they're doing is they're seeking to build out a whole electric vehicle fleet by the end of 2022. So not just right now, probably some pre-ordering or ordering, but by the end of next year. Last up, something close to home to us right here in Jamaica, Digicel. Pacific actually, so it's a separate company or separate, you know, segment, however you want to call it, probably going to create some market confusion. But the bottom line here, Digicel getting some breathing room. So Digicel Pacific selling to Telstra in US dollars, $1.85 billion deal. But the point is coming from this is the Digicel brand probably emerges stronger. A lot of cash here in terms of the deal. You know, you're talking about 1.85 billion US dollars, nothing to scoff at. And the point is a deal is done here. So we see how this all pans out. So more information needs to emerge, but that is making a lot of the global headlines, especially, especially on the telecom side. I'm Mark Crosstree, this is Business Life.